What's up YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change the tempo of an audio loop you may have from your sample library and get it to match the tempo of your session, song, or track. In this case, my tempo is set at 101 BPMs and I have a kick going at 101 BPMs. Then I dragged in two audio loops from a sample pack and you're gonna notice that it's gonna be out of sync. So the first thing you gotta do to kind of make these uh, loops play nice with each other is know the original length of the loop you just dragged in. So in this case, I know that it's eight bars long because well, I set my cycle range to the length of my kicks and I can see that this should be eight bars long because this tempo was originally recorded at a faster tempo than 101. That's why it is shorter here. Or if you don't, if you really wanna test yourself, you can always count out as well. So one, two, three, four, that's one bar. One, two, three, four, that's two bar. And you can kind of play it out and count it out like that. But in this case, I know it's eight bars long, so I can go to step two, which is select the audio region, hold down the option key on your keyboard, click and drag it out to the desired length, which is eight bars. Now I set my cycle range to eight bars, so it's easy for me just to drag it out. Now if I go ahead and play my lead and my kick, it plays nice with each other. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and adjust my chords region as well. The reason why I put in a second sample loop right here is because I want to show you two ways on how to change the length of an audio loop. So first step you gotta do on the second method is select the audio loop, go to edit, go to time stretch, and go to time stretch region length locators, which is my cycle range right here. I'm gonna set that and it's gonna go ahead and adjust that to eight bars long because my cycle range was set to eight bars long. As you can see, the first method is a lot quicker, but I just want to show you both ways in which you can uh, get the same end result. So if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. This will work on anything, drums, pianos, guitars, whatever it may be, it's gonna work properly. Um, now, you're not gonna wanna change an audio loop drastically, like by 50 BPMs, but uh, for the most part, it's gonna work for you and work for your songs as well. So again, let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. For more great videos, remember to subscribe, as more ones, more great ones are always coming, and I'll see you all in the next video. Later, guys. Peace.